Are you writing off Michigan and Oklahoma after their home losses to unranked opponents this weekend? Yes. It is not because each has one loss. It is not because each lost to an unranked opponent. Uh, Michigan to Michigan State, and that stings in that state. I know it doesn't mean much off I-95. And Oklahoma, of course, to Iowa State. But, Tony, they're not, they're not good. They're not that good. I mean, there's a few teams out there, Clemson and Alabama among them, maybe Auburn, who I want to see more of, maybe Washington, who I want to see more of. But these two teams, they're not that good. It's not that much to get excited over. If I had to write off one of them, I would write off Oklahoma. Uh, and Oklahoma has proven you don't need Bob Stoops coaching to lose a big game early in the season. But they got a big win. Michigan doesn't have one. The reason that I would keep Michigan in play is because these they still get to play Ohio State. If they beat Ohio State, they're going to be in the playoff structure unless they lose three more games. Whereas Oklahoma doesn't get anybody that big. TCU isn't that big. And the Big 12 is far less respected than the Big 10, as you know. But, Tony, far the Big less. 10 hangs his hat right now Last on the hopes one. of one team, as far as I'm concerned, Penn State. Ohio State already with a loss. Michigan with a loss. Penn, Penn State, State plays good. them both. Penn State good.